Today I want to quickly walk you through setting up a laser uh, safety area scanner for use with the ZA6 robot. The way a laser safety scanner works is that it creates a plane, uh, a laser plane, and any object that is introduced to that plane, uh, this little device knows the distance between that object and the safety scanner. And the closer you get, uh, the safety scanner can turn on either the warning input or the safety input. Uh, on the robot. So what I'm going to walk you through doing with this today is creating two zones, a warning zone and a safety zone. And one plugged into the uh, safety input connector on the ZA6 robot. Stepping into that warning zone will cause the robot to reduce its speed dramatically. And then stepping all the way into the safety zone will trigger a stop and uh, a safety input actuation for the robot. Installation is fairly easy. You, you probably want to place it at, um, you know, torso or waist height. Of course, it works at any height, but you've got to think about the objects it's going to be um, connecting to. You could put it uh, along the floor, in which case, you know, your feet would trip it, but this is a good height. This would also be an acceptable height here. Um, you'll notice also that uh, <clears throat> it will create a plane in about 270 degrees of direction. So the way I've got it oriented here, it will be safe for anything that comes towards the robot from this side, anything that comes towards the robot from that side. But of course, you could sneak in through here and it wouldn't know because that's not part of that 270 degree protection. We'll see that a little bit later when we get into the configuration software. All right, so the last digital input here on our robots is the safety input. And like any M12 connector, we just find, uh, orient it so that the, it's keyed the right way and then screw it in. If this is the first time you're setting this up, we'll want to connect it via USB to a Windows computer uh, so we can access the Keyence programming software, which will help us define our zones and our exclusion zones. A little USB cable that comes with it is pretty short. I find it helpful to add a USB extension cable here. Otherwise, you'll find that you have to stand so close to it while you're programming it that it interferes with uh, what you're trying to program in terms of the area. So this is a Keyence SZ1 laser safety scanner. And... Um, We've essentially just uh, wired it up properly to be a plug and play connection with the ZA6 robot. Um, when, you, when you get it, there's a lot of documentation that comes from Keyence, and there are videos from Keyence on how to set it up and how to configure it. So what I'm really gonna do is just give a very quick overview um, of how to define this. Uh, for more detailed information, you'll really wanna go to the Keyence support documentation. Probably the first thing you want to do is read, it, read out the configuration data from the key and safety scanner. So it'll ask you if it's okay to do that. You can say yes. And uh, it'll go ahead and read out whatever, whatever is in there. And then I think the first thing to do to get uh, used to this is to go to the monitoring tab. And the monitoring tab shows you what the thing is reading. The bottom shows you this triangular shape here in gray. And that's the part that the, the area scanner can't see. Everything else, that other 270 degree sweep, that's what is visible to the scanner. And so if you see here, see, as I walk closer to the device, you can see this is the shadow that's being created by me. And if I turn this way, the shadow gets bigger. If I turn this way, the shadow gets smaller. Now, one thing to note, like, there are some artifacts in here. You see this, that's just the USB cable. So I'm gonna move that thing out of the way so it doesn't interfere with stuff. Now you can see why I say it's nice to have an extension cable on here because as you're standing close to it, it definitely, um, it's easy to have things conflict with it. And essentially, you just wanna create a safe zone such that in the warning area, you can't get from the warning area to the robot so quickly that the robot couldn't stop. So I think a warning area, nice thing to define that would be a good nine feet away from the base of the robot, maybe six feet. The safety area should be such that with your arm extended, see, 
an extra two feet or so, that robot still can't touch me, right? And so your, your, your safe area really should be an exclusion zone around which um, the robot can't, can't be triggered. And then we're back to the screen share here. But uh, one of the nice things about this device is you can have it automatically trace something. So you can see here as I place this in position, look at that, see that? So you could, if you wanted to, take uh, some curtains or something and mock something up, and then you could just draw right over it if you wanted to. And I'll go ahead and slide this over here and see a different, a different route. And you can see what that ends up looking like. And then you can go ahead and draw uh, on your configuration, you can go ahead and draw your exclusion zones. Uh, so it's some really neat stuff. When you're done, you transfer it to the device and it should be all ready to go. The other thing I want to point out is that if you do have things that are permanently in place that the area scanner sees, you can exclude them. And so it does not have to trip its safety input with everything. There are ways you can carve out uh, stationary objects in its vision. Um, more information on that is in the documentation with, with Keyence, but uh, let me just go ahead and we'll Take a look at how all this works for the robot. So you can see as I walk closer to the robot and I step through into the warning zone, our max velocity was just clipped to 10%. And if I continue, the robot's safety input is triggered, brakes are applied, and the robot goes into e-stop. Thank you very much for watching this quick tip video on setting up a Keyence laser safety scanner with the ZA6 uh, industrial robot.